And good morning, everyone. Molly is off today, but our good friend and trusty host, Denise Katarabek, is filling in for her. Good to be Thanks here. for being here. That's great to be here. Uh huh. And I picked a good day because there is a lot going on right Tons. now. Tons. There's a brass quartet from the Milwaukee mm -hmm. Symphony over there. Whoop, whoop. And extreme wrestler Tommy Dreamer is mm -hmm. here somewhere. <laughs> I hope he didn't bring his bat. <laughs> He has like a spiked bat I think he's known for. Yes, uh, that's what uh -huh. I heard. I bet he brought it. And <laughs> there's a huge motorcycle over there in the studio, and we're chatting with the former Miss America. That's right. And we're going to start off right away with Laura kepler Flies. Yeah. After being crowned Miss Kenosha and Miss Wisconsin, she went on to win Miss America in 2010. Everybody remembers that moment. And now she's doing something very unusual with a former, uh, at, that a former Miss America would do. And we're going to tell you about it in just a second. A lot of you know, but we'll share a little bit more. Good to have you back. Thank you so much for having me. How does it feel to be home? It's good. It feels yeah. like the holidays. Yeah. Cold weather, Christmas lights make sense. In the cold. Yeah. Cold weather because you're not living in Wisconsin anymore. No, Where do you no, live now? I don't. I live on Kauai, <laughs> of the Hawaiian <laughs> Islands, that is so awesome. in the middle of the Pacific. Now, so why are you living there? Um, because we love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great place. It's small but simple and you know mellow, and we want to give that childhood to our son. And you have a little so. one. I was going to say. Yeah. Bad in school there. And we look will. Look at how cute yeah. he is. Oh, my that was on his first birthday. Oh, he's how old now? A year and a half? Or yeah, about yeah. a year and a half. About a year and a half. Oh yeah. my gosh, he's adorable. Thank Look at you. you. Thank How do you, you like being a mother? It's the best. Yeah. Yeah, it's changed me for all the better. It's nothing the hardest like it. job in the world. It is. Yep. But he's the best. There's yeah. nothing like it. I mean, how cool for a kid to grow up on Kauai. I know. It's the childhood <laughs> we want to give. We want him to be a great surfer and a great waterman, and yeah. we're in the ocean every day. But you know what else is cool? Bringing him home to Kenosha. Yes, That's true. Oh, yes. A little bit Midwest oh, in him. Oh, yeah. It's a Midwest in him with some, you know, Wisconsin oh, yes. vibes. Uh -huh. That's where I'm from. He's got to come, and all my family's here, so yeah. we visit a lot. It's exciting. And speaking of we, so you married Mike Fleiss, who is the did. creator of The Bachelor and Bachelorette. How cool yes, is I that? Did. So yes, I did. So it's pretty darn cool. Talk a little bit about, like, do you get to know things, or does everything get kept a secret from you? Do you have to like tight lip yourself from telling people what you know about the Don't Bachelor Don't you get an inside scoop? I mean, I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Can I can't you share things. No, of course. <laughs> um, no, I'm really proud of him. He works really hard and yeah. Nick is the Bachelor. And so he's been on our show. His sister Maria yes. comes on all the time. Yes, he's, you know, from Wisconsin. Yes, yeah, go Wisconsin Milwaukee. Know, yeah, right? so I've heard, you know, I've heard he's doing really well and, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully he finds love and is happy in the end of it. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. hope for him, right? Yeah, of course. He's he seems like a really great so guy. Long on that show and on that series. I know. Yeah, this it's, is about like four, <laughs> it's about time. Right? for him. It's yes. Past three times. Now yes. It's the fourth time. Yes. And we're excited for him to come back on the show too. That's yes. exciting. I want to know though, because your husband created The Bachelor Bachelorette, which yes. is like a huge, I mean, romantic series. Is he that romantic in real life? He is. Is he really? Yeah. Like, he is, is he big into roses too? I get my, I get a fair amount of roses. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Denise, give us an example. What's something romantic he's known for? Um, well, we take, you know, we we pushed on the spot. I know you did. <laughs> no, he's he's wonderful. He's a great dad, and you know we take a lot of really great trips, and we go a lot of really beautiful yeah. places. And yeah. he's the one who introduced me to Kauai, and you know that's oh. where we fell in love. So. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love yeah. that. You know what's cool for me is I was telling Tiffany that I I was very young. We won't exactly mm -hmm. say how young when the uh, Terry Musin was crowned Miss Wisconsin. Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes. I have a do I do have a memory being Miss America. You mean Miss America? Oh yes, right, from she was, from Wisconsin. Yes, yeah. And when you were crowned Miss America, I just remember thinking that was so cool and about time Thank that you. we had another Miss America from Thank Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. that's what we're hoping to do with Miss Kenosha Pageant. Yeah, talk about this. So this is kind of unprecedented for a Miss America to come back and work on the local level. If a Miss America comes back to her own state, oftentimes she's working with the state or she's working with the national pageant. You're coming back. There you are winning Miss America. Mm -hmm. You're coming back and working on the local level in yeah. Kenosha. Mm -hmm. You took the pageant over from Joya, who mm -hmm. um, the pageant was going to potentially go away. Yes. What, what did it mean to you to come back and do that? And why did you make that decision? Well, it was it was in danger of cancellation mm -hmm. and Kenosha is my hometown mm -hmm. it's where I'm from um, it's a wonderful community of people that have given so much to me and so much to my family it's a very small way that I can give back to my community but the Kenosha pageant is also where it started for me yeah, yeah. and a lot of people don't realize it does start at the local level mm -hmm. and um, I had a great experience and I'm excited to hopefully give 
you know, great experiences to the contestants and yes. the future Miss Kenosha. So it was kind of a no-brainer for me. I love it. We're out of time, but real quick, how often will you be back with that program? Uh, I'll be doing a lot from a distance, but of course I'll be back for the pageant, for mm -hmm. the key rehearsals, and um, then, you know, getting the Miss Kenosha ready for Miss Wisconsin. So it's I'll be back so quite a bit. Exciting. Good. Yes, You'll have thank to come you. back on the thank show. You. Yeah, Here's I the will. information, because I know you're looking for contestants as well. Miss, yes. um, Miss Kenosha is happening Saturday, April 1st. First, it's at 7 p.m. It's going to be at the St. Joseph Catholic Academy Auditorium, which is in Kenosha. You can find out more by visiting their Facebook page as well. Mm -hmm. And if you win or if you compete, you'll also have a chance to work with Laura. How cool yes, thank to you. work with a Miss America. I know, a pro. Thank awesome. You. Thanks for thank being you here. Thank you for having me. Welcome thank back. you so much. Thanks.